Hi, welcome to Old School Blues Guitar. It is time for the acoustic lesson for the months of uh, July through September 2020. And I've chosen another Little Son Jackson song, Lil Son Jackson. I really like his guitar playing. But also they're fairly simple and I'm kind of running out of acoustic ideas. I've had a couple suggestions from, from requests. Keep those coming. What I try to do is not do any lessons for songs that I learned from somebody else's DVD or somebody else's YouTube video, unless my version is totally, totally different. So, Little Son Jackson has a, I've done a couple, I did Gambler's Blues, I did Red River Blues. This time we're going to do a song called Blues Come to Texas, and I really like this, this tune. It's in the key of A, and there's a lot of Blind Lemon Jefferson in this. I am not very good at playing Blind Lemon Jefferson stuff. In fact, there's only a couple of his songs that I'm even close to being able to play. But if you listen to Little Son Jackson and you listen to Blind Lemon Jefferson, you see the influence. And this song has a lot of it in there. So it's kind of a Blind Lemon Jefferson for dummies, you might say. <laughs> kind of a simple tune to get some of those same really cool ideas. Let's talk about the chords in the songs. In the key of A, <laughs> So we're going to need an A major, what I call a long A. So you make your A on the second fret with the first finger and then the pinky on the fifth fret of the first string. We're also going to use A7. So take the pinky off, put the second finger on the third fret of the first string. So A and A7. And then as far as the, the four chord, co chord goes, it's a D. He doesn't actually play the D chord except one time he plays one of these Ds. It's like a D7, my first finger on the first fret of the second string, second finger on the third fret of the third string, and then my thumb wrapped around getting the second fret of the sixth string. That kind of thing. And then there's an E7. I play my E7 with the first finger on the first fret of the third string, my second finger getting both the fifth and the fourth strings at the second fret, and then my pinky on the third fret of the second string. E7. Those are the only chords that you need for the song. The bass is monotonic. So he's going to be thumping the open fifth string when he's over the one. When he gets over the four, he's either going to be here on the second string with that D7 shape, or sometimes he plays the open fifth for the bass for the D as well, for the four. And I'll show you that when we get to it. And then when he gets to the E, he's thumping the open sixth string, which is our E. So this is a song with a monotonic bass. I'm going to start out and show you the introduction to the song, explain it, I'll show you the verses, the typical verses and the variations, and then we'll wrap it up with the end tag. I've got this tabbed out, I don't have the whole song tabbed out, what I have are the key licks and the most important parts tabbed out. So anyway, here's how it goes. So the introduction starts out something like this. Pretty close. Again, when I do these, I'm trying to memorize this. You know, I can't play it note for note, just from the memory. I don't read tab that fast. But he starts out with this little lick. This is the Blind Lemon Jefferson type thing I was telling you about. If you ever hear songs like Matchbox Blues, you know, this kind of thing is what he does. And what I've got going here is going to start by sliding into this shape, which is a partial D-shaped A chord. So there's my A bar chord. That's an A. And what I'm doing with my first and second finger is getting the ninth fret of the first string, tenth fret of the second string. And he slides into the one, two, three. I think the bass starts right away. And what I'm
I'm doing, that little pick in there is second string, first string, and then putting the pinky down on the 12th fret of the first string. And then on the, he's going to slide down the neck back into this A. And he's going to go from a long A to an A7. So the whole first part. Something like, like that. Then he's going to go over the four. And what I'm doing is sliding in to a D double stop with my first finger on the fifth fret of the first string, my second finger on the seventh fret of the second string. And again, I hear an open fifth string bass. I'm muting it with my right hand palm so you really can't tell that it's an A note instead of a D note. And the picking goes like this. Check the tab. And he's stumping the whole time. And then right there, he's going to slide back into the A. So I'm sliding with my first finger, coming up getting the second and the first string sliding into an A. So it's like this. And he's going to go from that long A to an A seventh. And then he's going to go to the E. Or whatever he does there. And then he's going to come back to this. ready to start the song. Let me try to play that whole introduction for you slowly. I know there's a few parts where I'm not playing it exactly like the record, but the way I'm playing it, the shapes and, and the ideas, those are all what he's doing. So we started out. the introduction. If you get the introduction down, you've got a lot of the elements of the song already down. And what he does throughout the rest of the tune is just play some variations on that. And that's what I'll, I'll show you here. I'll show you a typical verse with all the variations throughout the song. It's only three, four verses in the song. And then I'll show you the end tech. Now the verses of Blues Come to Texas by Little Son Jackson, it's kind of hard to hear what he's playing. He sings the lines and I'm trying to remember the song. I'm not a singer, so I don't know the lyrics of these songs necessarily. But he's got one, like, when you see me coming, turn your lamp down low. And he's, when you see me coming. And he's playing over that. And what I hear is something like this. So it's like a open, open fifth string, strum up with the first finger holding the A chord. So we got that, and then he grabs the third fret of the fifth string, something like that. And when you see me come, turn your lamp down low. And as he comes out of that, the very first verse, he's going to play this, which is an A7 double stop. This is the A equivalent of the lick that you play in when you're playing in the key of E, like Lightning Hopkins or Lightning Slim. So anyway, we're doing this in A, and I'm sliding to the fifth fret of the second string, keeping the bass on the open fifth. And he does it three times. The timing's a little weird. And that's one of the things, if you're just getting into this early acoustic blues music, if you're playing solo, you don't have to worry about timing. You can change, you can play however you want. Lightning Hopkins had a famous 
quote when he was asked about changes. He said, lightning changes when lightning wants to change. And that was true for other players as well. True for little son Jackson. So he does this. And he's sliding out of it to the third fret of the second string. And then sometimes he slides back in with this A slide. Up picking with my first finger, getting the second and third string, and then getting the third string in that A shape. So we got something like this. And then he plays. And then he's going to repeat the verse. When you see me come and turn your lamp down low. And when he's singing that over the four, First verse, he's going to play that D7 shape. He goes back to the A. And then he comes back to this twice. Long A, A7 to the E7. He doesn't do that. Instead, he does this. He's going to play that A7 lick again instead of playing over the 4. I'm trying to remember this song. I think that's the variation. So from the E7, something like that. And then he's going to go to the next verse. Now the variations in the verses. The big one is here. When he's playing this, when he starts singing the verse, he does this. So he's going from this lick into that. I had a hard time listening to the original recording, hearing exactly how he leads into that and the timing on it. So again, I just do what feels natural. I don't sing. So if I'm playing this as an instrumental, which I can do, I'm just going to kind of change what I want to. So. Now the second verse, he's going to go back to this leg, and he's going to play it a little differently. And then he's going to go So the first time we got to the four, we played the first verse, we played this. That D seventh chord. The second time we're doing this. Uh... Something like that. Then he goes back like a downstroke and a pick up. One beat, the A chord. Play something there or you might go back to And that's the, the second verse, I think, is the variation he does, he does there. Last part of this lesson, let's talk about the last part of the song. And I think the only three, three verses in the entire song, the introduction plus the three verses. The third time through, he does the same thing he does the second time. He starts out the verse. the timing on the original, excuse me, on the original recording. Again, he doesn't really follow strict timing. He just changes when he wants to. There's a couple places where he's outside the normal bar structure. And then he's going to go back to this. Something like that. Going to play that leg. He does a little variation in there. He does some.
something in there. There's one time where he does where he ends up on the second fret of the third string. I can't remember it. My mind is just going here. Little subtle things. So if you just want to play this song, you can just play the you can play the most basic approach to it and it'll sound it'll sound good. But there's you know, if you're really wanting to figure it out and learn some guitar out of it, there's these little little details in there. I can't show you all of them because I can't remember all of them just off the top of my head. But I think what I've shown you is enough that you can listen to the original and figure out what's going on if you want to. Okay, the end tag is really simple. He's playing this. He gets to the last verse. something like that. He's going to take this A seventh leg and just walk it down third and fifth, third and fifth, uh, third and fifth frets, first and second string, second and fourth, first and third. With the bass thumping. And then here, I think he just slides into that A. Plays a little lick with the A seventh chords. What I think he's doing is picking there and then maybe flattening the first finger out and getting the first string and then making the A seventh, something like this. Again, I think I have it tabbed out the way the way I hear it, and I assume that's close or, or pretty close. The only variation I can think of that I didn't really teach you because I couldn't remember it exactly is he does something out of these double stops. Where he kind of bends that first, first fret of the second string. And then slides in. It's, it's a little tricky. You listen to it, see if you can hear it and, and figure that out. If I get it, I'll, I'll make sure it's included in the tab for the lesson. So there's the acoustic. Lesson, more of a flyover of Little Son Jackson's Blues Come to Texas. I really like that tune, especially that introduction. That's cool, like Blind Lemon Jefferson stuff. Listen to Matchbox Blues and you'll hear the, you know, the more complicated version of that kind of song. And Little Son Jackson's Blues Come to Texas is just a really cool song. It's relatively simple to play in the key of A. So I chose it for this time, time around. I've got a request for a Lightning Hopkins instrumental for next time, Lightning's Boogie. So I'll start working on that and that'll be our next acoustic tune. Again, give me some suggestions. If I think I can figure it out, I'll go with it. If you give me a suggestion and I'm not familiar with it or I really can't figure it out, I'll, I won't do it. And so I do the best I can with the request. I can't do all the requests. I want to have some choice in this too. Okay, I'll be back again two or three months, and we'll try another acoustic lesson. Let me know how you like this one. Any questions, comments, be sure to let me know. Thanks. See you then.